Even if you're not a fan of insects, my next guest says insects are working hard to keep the entire planet in balance. In his newest book, Photo Arc Insects, you'll see more than your share of creepy crawlies. And he says he's here this morning to tell us all about the Photo Arc collection and its real mission. It's award-winning National Geographic explorer and photographer, Joel Sartori. Hi, Joel. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, great to be here. Thanks for having me. No problem. So you got to tell me, how did the pandemic help shape this new photo arc collection all about insects? Sure. I mean, the pandemic is directly responsible. I've been doing this photo arc project for a long time, a number of years, 16 years, I think, as of today, nearly 14,000 species. But it had been, mostly been animals around the world, birds, elephants, tigers, lions, some of the smaller animals too, for sure. Uh, sparrows, toads, minnows, you name it. Hadn't really looked at insects much beyond the colorful butterflies and beetles that a few zoos kept. And then the pandemic locked everything down. I couldn't travel. And uh, I thought, you know, what can I do to earn my geographic grant and keep everybody busy at our office? I know. We'll do insects. I, I could see a ton of them around my porch lights in the mornings and late at night. I thought, wow, look at the variety and color here. There's there's a lot here. So we ended up getting more than 100 species of insects just at our home, just in our, out from our yard uh, in the middle of Lincoln, Nebraska. And we went to about six surrounding states during the height of the pandemic, staying at Airbnbs and friends, guest houses that were empty and a cabin of ours in Minnesota and then working around Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, got nearly a thousand species over the next 18 months. And that's why we have the insects book. It's all thanks <laughs> to the pandemic, believe it or not. Well, I have to tell you, Joel, um, I have some family down in Tennessee. Bolivar, Tennessee has some insects that I am sure no one has <laughs> discovered yet. Big, small, no, no matter in between, you got you got to go down there and, <laughs> and document some stuff. <laughs> Bolivar, Tennessee, I'll remember that. Yes, you have to. OK, now so many people and I have to admit to it me included, find insects kind of like gross and we're quick to squash them. But why are they so important hey. to our ecosystem? Well, I'm not a big fan of like cockroaches if they ever get into my house, which happens very rarely. I mean, I don't show them very much mercy, to be honest with you. But <laughs> tell you, once I once I really settled in on this project, I got to I got to realize and I talked to a lot of entomologists along the way who helped me identify things. and We would talk about insects. It, the thing that most people don't understand is that we literally cannot survive without them and that they are also in catastrophic decline because there's very little habitat being saved for them. We use a lot of chemicals on our lawns like pesticides and herbicides. Those kill them. Poisoning the ground that we that we live on and seeing those poisons move through your lawn and going to the local rivers and watersheds because every time there's a rain, nothing stays put in the ground. It always moves. Other people are drinking this this stuff. All these things came into play. And I really got to thinking about the fact that insects do so much good. They uh, they pollinate our fruits and vegetables. If you like fruits and vegetables, thank an insect. Um, even flies are important pollinators, believe it or not. The, um, the other thing they do is they just keep everything humming. They recycle nutrients. They they clean up dead animals laying on the ground like like dead mice and, and you know, dead birds or whatever. They eat leaf litter. They in the fall, they they chew up everything and they redeposit it. They keep the nutrient cycles flowing. And the, the truth is things would just pile up so much without them that we would really be done. We would not be able to survive without insects. And so it's yeah, caused me to look at them in a whole new way. That really does make sense. And I, I think that almost gives me a new appreciation for it. Because like I said, I'm one of the ones that's quick to, to swat a fly or whatever kind of insect, spray it out. But like you said, that that right. is very true. So I got to ask you before we yeah. go, I think we have about 30 seconds. What was your favorite insect to to photograph? Well, my favorite's always the next one. You know, I always say it's the next one. We forget, big and small, we love them all. But there is a, a double page picture in the insects book that is of a pair of mating rainbow grasshoppers in the Nebraska sand hills, and they stayed together the entire shoot, which was amazing. And they're every color, every color of the rainbow, a lot of oranges and blacks and reds. They're okay. amazing looking. 
And that's one of my favorites in the whole book. It's just weird and odd. And, and, well, um, I cannot I wait. I cannot wait for people to check it out. It's going to be so good. Thank you so much for being here. We really, really appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.